What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video or 5M. This is another requested video from my Discord and it is on how to create a car pack. And by car pack, I mean merging all the cars you have in your server into one single folder. I have four vehicles right here that I downloaded from the web from a website, the GTA Mods website, and I will be using these as an example. Normally you would take these four cars, add them into your resource folder, and then start each folder individually. The way we're going to do it is create one folder that you start that has every vehicle you have in it. One thing you will need is go into the description and download this resource.lua. All this is, it's a little template that helps you out on how to create it and get started. But you're going to have to do most of the work yourself, depending on what car you have. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to create the folder that we're going to use. I suggest naming it cars, vehicles, something simple for you to remember by. And we're also going to add that inside these brackets. The reason we're going to use these brackets is to, it, it just helps cleaning, clean up the server. It helps us remember that, hey, this starts multiple things, not just one thing. It just, it's good practice to get into it. You don't have to. I do it. Just, it, it just makes it look decent. I don't know. And then inside in here, we're going to go ahead and add that resource folder. And just with any other vehicle, we need a stream folder. The only thing that is now new, we're going to add a data folder. Just like that. So you now should have on your desktop a folder, whatever you named it. Inside that, a data folder, a stream folder, and a resource that load that you download from the description. So now we're going to start adding vehicles. So whenever you get a vehicle, we're going to start with this beater tulip over here. So usually the folder name is always whatever the YTDs are, which is your spawn name. So all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and rename this so we can copy the name just like that. And we're going to pretty much create this car folder in both the data folder and the stream folder and then drag in that information. So we're going to start with data. We're going to go in here, create a new folder and we're going to name it that folder. We're going to open it up. Since this is our data folder, we're going to grab the data from the vehicle, which is your meta files. Just drag them right in there just like that. And now we still have the stream files. So we're going to go ahead and go into our stream folder, add the vehicle, a new folder with the vehicle name, open that up, and we're going to drag the YTDs in there. Just like that. So now we're going to go back and just look at everything one more time. We now have one folder named cars with two folders named data and stream. Inside the data folder is that beater tulip vehicle we just added with only the meta files under the data section. And in our stream section, we have that same vehicle name folder, but this time it's got the YTD, the images. So now we added this vehicle to the folder, to this folder to call. Now we have to declare the folders like, hey, this vehicle is here, we have to call it. That is in a resource that Lewis. So let's open this up and we're going to open up the original one just like this. Okay. So now this is the one that comes with it and this is the one we will be using. So it is very easy. As you can see right here is a little example. One that I posted. We're just going to name this and says right here name of vehicle folder. All we're going to do is this vehicle folder name just like everything else. We're going to go ahead and paste that in there. So it'll look just like this. Data slash whatever the vehicle name folder is slash star dot meta. That's going to call all the meta files. Now you can see right here, we got to still add the data files just like here. So all we're going to do is just copy all these just like this and paste them in here. But it's not going to work because we have to declare. As you can see in the example up here, it says data and then plow, which is right here is the vehicle folder name. So we would do the same thing here. So it'd be data slash the vehicle name, which is beater tulip slash handling done meta. Now we can go ahead and copy this right here and add that to all of them just like this. And that's how it should look. Once you have the very first one set up, which is this vehicle, it'll go easier from now on. Another thing that is good practice is naming where this is. So this right here is going to be our beater tulip. So when we go through, it makes it look easier. Okay, so since we have our first one for this video, I'm going to go ahead and delete these examples just to make it look a little better. So with one vehicle added, it should look just like this. Under files, 
right here it calls all the meta files and then right here it declares the meta files and everything else like that so now the very first vehicle is added and if we start this folder in our resource we'll have this vehicle added now we're going to go ahead and add the other three i'm going to kind of fly through this but it should be the same thing. So we're done with this when we can delete it. Now we're gonna do the 2500 HD. We grab the folder name. Remember the folder name is always the YTT name, which is your spawn name. I suggest leaving everything always the same name. That way you don't get confused and it's easier to find. So we're gonna go now a data folder. We're gonna create a new folder in here, name it 2500 HD, open it up. And we're gonna grab the metas from this and drag them into our data folder. I'm gonna go back into our stream folder, add the same thing again, but this time we're gonna add the YTDs. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other ones real quick. So we're not gonna delete this, we still need the, the resource in here. But let's same with Torito. We're gonna take that, inside the stream, make a new folder, just like that. We open this up, we grab the YTDs, we drag them in there. We go into our data, new folder with the vehicle name, open it up, and we add our vehicle made us, just like that. Now we did this one. Now we're gonna do the SS69. Same thing. Go ahead and add a new folder, open it up. This is our data folder. So we're gonna need to grab our data. So you can see there's quite a few more in here. Drag them in there. Now you remember, you do not need to drag the resource lower in here because we're gonna use our own but there we go we're gonna go back and do our stream last one open this up add the stream folder just like that and boom now we have all of the vehicles added now we're gonna look at this one more time so we now have one folder called cars or whatever you wanted with three things in it our resource at Lua a stream folder and a data folder inside each of those folders is your car so in data you have all of your cars but inside data, our car information only holds all the metas. As you can see, you go through it, everything is just your meta files, okay? In our stream folder, we also have each of our vehicles, but inside them, we only have our texture files, the YTD, the YFTs, and everything like that. That's how it should be set up. Now, we go ahead and add everything to our resource. Now, there's an easy thing that you can do because most of the vehicles are always the same with the meta. So when you open up this one, 2500 HD, you can see it's got five different things. It's got vehicle layout, carvation, carols, vehicles, and handling. If you go over here, it's already got a vehicle, carvations, carols, vehicles, and handling. So the easiest thing to do is just copy all of this, just like this, make a new line. Same with this, copy this, make a new line. And since it's the same exact stuff it's calling, we're just gonna go ahead and change this. 2500 HD. Same with all of the rest here. Change this and that and that and that and that and that. Now we change this and that's how we just added another vehicle. Let's go ahead and look at the Torito. Open up the resource. Same thing. See this one's only calling four. Carvations, carols, vehicles and handling. Right here. Carvations, carols, vehicles and handling. It doesn't have vehicle laid out. So we just copy it just like this. Make a new line. And we're going to go ahead and rename this copy. And there you go. Very easy, very quick. Just rename all of this. Going to go ahead and actually make a new line up here as well. Because remember, we have to add this everywhere. Just like that. And that is pretty much how you add all the vehicles. Now let's look at this SS69. Because I believe there was more in there. Open the resource.lua. No, there you go. See, it's only got five of them in here. It says not required, not required, not required. So we're really not worried about it. But as you can see, it does have five of these. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the one that has all five. We're gonna make a new line and we're gonna type SS69. Now remember, I suggest everything that you name, always keep it the same name as the spawn name. That way you do not get confused. And it's easier to find and so on and so forth. And that is pretty much it. We have now created our very own car pack. I know I kind of flew through this kind of fast, but we're gonna go ahead and one more time go over everything with one example, 
Okay. So right here, we now created a car folder. Inside the car folder, we have three things, our resource.lua, a data folder, and a stream folder. Inside of the data folder, you would create a new folder and name it whatever vehicle that you're adding, like the Torito I have right here. And then inside this folder, you add all of your meta files. You have to make sure the meta files get added under the data section. If you go back and go into the stream section, same thing, you have a vehicle name folder after the vehicle you're adding. Inside here, we have the YTDs under stream. You have to make sure you put the YTDs under your stream and the meta files under your data. And you have to make sure you name the folders data and you have to make sure you name the folder stream. Another thing you have to make sure is like right here, 2500 HD, make sure it does not have a space like that. If it has a space, it will not work. Everything has to be always one word, just like that. If you must have a space, you can just use a dash, an underscore. It does not matter. Just leave it with no space. But again, I recommend if you go into your stream folder, you see these YTDs, how it says 2500 HD. That is the vehicle spawn code as well. If you would type this in, you would get the vehicle through the spawn code. This is what I would use for naming everything. As you can see right here, the folder name is the same thing. Now in our resource.lua, it's just the same thing. You can see right here, we added the meta files where it's calling it here. We simply say our data is located in this folder for the SS69 and the star.meta means that we're calling every meta file inside of that folder. That way we don't have to write each one individually. We simply say, hey, for SS69, go over the data and read everything that's inside it. That's what that means. And then same with right here, this declares all the data files for the pictures and everything else that calls it. It's the same thing as in your normal resource.lua. So let me find, let's see how I put it in my trash bin. Let's grab, where did I put it? This is 2500 HD just for the sake of it. And we'll just compare the two. I'll open this up with code, drag, of course it's being silly, but we'll just look at it this way. As you can see right here, right here it's calling all the meta files, but it's calling it individually. In ours, we're calling it just once, like I already stated, we're using the star to declare everything inside that folder. And now with the data handling files, you can see right here, we're calling it the exact same way over here. It's this exact same thing. The only difference is we're declaring the folder because we have it in a different location. So we have to declare that. It's like, hey, head over to data, 2500 HD, and then that's where you're gonna have your handling.meta. And that's all you have to do. And then to add more cards, you would just keep going. You would add another line up here and you would add all of this again. And you just keep on going and that's how you have your very own car pack. So now if we would add this to our server. We would just go ahead into our resource folder and we would just drag this right in here. And now we have our cars in here. So instead of having to start individual cars, you now just go to your server.cfg. So we're gonna copy that just like this. We're gonna head back to our server.cfg and I already have it in added in here. Um, no, I don't. My Liberty City stuff is in there. But all you would do is wherever your resources are, as you can see, you would probably have these guys right here. Just type start, or you can type ensure. I like ensure, it just looks better. And then that folder. And then save it, just like that. And that's, that's it. Now you can jump into the game and your cars are loaded. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Or the best way to reach me is in my Discord. I am starting to not be very active on YouTube simply because I'm getting so many comments. It's hard to keep track. So the best thing is to come into the Discord. Please do not private message me. Just comment in the Discord. There's a lot of people that help out inside the Discord. And I pop in whenever I can to help out. But I hope this video helped you guys. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.